Some time ago now I made a video entitled Why I Hate Horses, a series of humorous anecdotes about why I hate horses. And this video, more than any other I've ever made, despite my controversial views on free expression and politics and anything else you care to mention, no, no, it's my hatred of horses that has attracted the most vitriol from the worst corners of the internet. Maggie Bunnyhart writes, Wow, just wow. I can't believe that one day you thought, hey, I'm going to make a hate horse video to show people how much of a dickhead I am. And yes, everybody's allowed to have their opinions. Don't sh have to shove them in everyone's faces saying, hey, I hate horses. By worst corners of the internet, obviously I meant teen and tween girls, the, the kind who leap to the defense of Justin Bieber or Anision, the ones who have dreadfully inappropriate dreams about unicorns. Uh, she continues, uh, I bet you haven't even been around them enough to know them. They're anecdotes from my encounters and horrors with horses. So yes, I've been around them. The cunts. Do you even know Choco? He's the most sweetest, kindest, gentlest thing that ever existed. You named your horse after food. Even you know that's all they're good for, is for expensive, trendy Japanese sushi. That's it. Yes, he's bucked me off, bit me, kicked me, broke my bones and sent me to the hospital. But I would go through a billion bullets just to see him. I hate to tell you this, but you're in an abusive relationship with your horse. While this may be good practice for your failed marriages to toffs who will horsewhip you for fun in the bedroom, overall I can't recommend it. When you're dying in some rotting garret somewhere of horse aids, following some unwise tryst in a Brazilian stable to fund your meth habit, I for one shall not shed a tear. Blobfish says, no, this is what horse riding is like, having a friendship and love for another animal. Love. Horses are pretty much the creation and the first idea of transportation, so you can thank horses for all the cars you have and the bikes. If it weren't for horses, I would never have found happiness or ever gotten a social life. He goes on to say, The human is the twat, and the human is the one with the rifle. The human is the one in the saddle. The human is the one making the horse drool in dressage. The human is the one reason that horses are becoming basically a weapon for hunting. You should be saying you hate humanity, because it's the human's fault that you even made this damn useless video. You don't have a social life. Horses aren't people. Wanking your equine friend into a bucket does not count as a social life, even if you invite people to watch. Imogen Peden writes, I hate you because I love horses. Horses are assholes. Horse owners and riders are assholes. It's like they can sense each other's assholeness. Also, your name is peed on. XX Horse Rider XX writes, Well, too bad bitch of you hating horses, you faggot. If you can afford a hay munching shit machine that you don't even eat, you can afford proper, decent English lessons. Spirit Horse 542 writes, Horse are very fun to ride, and whoever hate them are moron and jerk and definitely a moron. Me grim, me make joke about horses. Me no like horses. Horses bad. Arr! And it goes on and on and on, to the point where I wonder if there's something similar to toxoplasmosis with cats, some kind of infectious parasite carried by horses that warps people's brains, making them just as evil and stupid and assholey as the horses are themselves. Then I realised what's really going on. Horses are evil and psychic and they're mind controlling these people, turning them into wankers on the internet and young minds are more malleable squishy and can be turned to their evil purpose so beware the horses beware the horses beware the horses crunchy base nutty base buggery biscuit base acid base macaroni base